got stuck behind some slow moving cars as you saw and uh, I lost a nice Porsche because he managed to get out of a jam where I was stuck. Plus the variable speed limit lights came on to say everyone had to slow down to 130. Anyway, I'm sure we'll find something else to chase. So I thought I should let you know. I'm having a great time and I hope you'll enjoy watching this. Hey guys. So I haven't had a chance to film this morning because it was raining very heavily and it's hard to film when there's heavy rain all around and you're trying to focus on the drive. I've left Cologne and I'm now heading to Hanover. I will probably stop there for a few hours before heading off to Berlin. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update and tell you what's happening. I've just pulled over at one of the services because I'm really hungry and I didn't have time for breakfast so I've just got myself some junk food I know it's bad but when you're traveling and you're so hungry everything tastes amazing so I'm sure I'll be fine oh yeah and the roads have been amazing it was very heavy rain but everyone here follows the rules so by the book it's amazing on the motorway it's a pleasure driving because everyone was driving really fast but they always used the fast lane to overtake and then turned into um, the middle of the right hand lane and uh, at one point when it stopped raining everyone just put their foot down it was the same thing I was doing about 220 kilometers an hour and this car, oh my god, I wish I'd brought my previous Panamera to Europe and driven around. It's like being on a boat, it just keeps floating and the road grip, the brakes, everything is just amazing. I'm so happy with it. And it's only 300 brake horsepower, but it never gives up. You just Put your foot down keeps going and going the torque is amazing i have no idea how much the torque is but it's very good um, so yeah that was my update and i'll keep you posted as to what happens next see you soon So, another bit of an update, the temperature has dropped to 2 degrees, it's slightly snowing outside and it's not settling, but it's snowing and it's freezing. Normally in London when it's 2 degrees it doesn't feel so cold, but I don't know what's happening here. The wind chill factor I think is what's causing it, it's very very cold, bitterly cold. Um, it snowed on the motorway a little, but it didn't uh, last for too long. And uh, I'm heading towards Berlin. I'm going to stop over in Hanover and then head off to Berlin. So maybe the, it'll be snowing there, I'm not sure. Yeah, so I thought I'd give you a quick update. There's nothing else to report, it's just a long stretch of motorways. Just nothing else around. Uh, maybe some little villages alongside, but nothing else exciting to report.
So, I'm in Hanover. I just stopped for a little bit to get some coffee and to show you a little bit around. It's so freezing cold here. It's bitterly cold. But that's all there is to it. I'm in Germany. I chose to come in winter. So, it's quite normal to have such cold weather. Ah, nice pianos. They are famous for making pianos, so... Let's find a cafe before I freeze to death. I think I might need to wear long johns or something. It's so cold here. I wasn't expecting it to be so bitterly cold because the temperature hasn't dropped below zero even. It's only about uh, two degrees. But, and there is a cloud cover as well. So, I must say, Hanover is so much better than uh, Cologne. Cologne looked really dirty and a bit run down. Hanover looks really clean and nice so far. Maybe it's because I'm in a different part of town, I don't know. So I've arrived here in Berlin at my friend Kieran's house. <laughs> Meet Kieran. Hello. <laughs> so I'm under the but we actually supposed to do the gin. So Okay, so we're gonna have some gin and tonic and here. Ah, you have so the same coffee machine as me. Which are this one? Yeah. Um, yeah. I have it's exactly good. the same. It's good. It's new every weekend. It's a beautiful, beautiful apartment. <laughs> it's more the size of a house than an apartment. <laughs> well, it's Berlin, so it's, you know, <laughs> affordable. Well, it's still beautiful. As I wish uh, Tin Tonic would, would you, this is a Canadian one, which is kind of a bit different and yellow. <laughs> this is just like, right. would you like one of these? <laughs> Any one of those would be fine. Okay. Which is kind of not a decision, but you pick and decide. All right, we we do the Canadian one. It was more expensive, so. Assume you assume it's going to be good. Yeah. Exactly. Price is an indicator of quality. <laughs> Not all the time. Not all the time. Oops. <laughs> you want a strong one or a double one or a single one? Single one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not very good at me. That's our drinks fridge and that's our food fridge, so. Health security first. Food fridge, food massive. Drinks fridge, okay. massive. <laughs> <laughs> so there is this glass door, which is the entrance door, and it's completely glass. So anyone walking past can see you standing in the flat. That's and that's, uh, that's the court, right? So you, the street you can see from. Yeah, and that's outside. It's called transparency. <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult for the British. <laughs>
50 maybe, so kind of, there's one lane that kind of moves at normal speed and then there's a push lane. Yeah. And, uh, but in, in Germany that means that, you know, every now and then you get this little uh, car, you know, going back and then you go like, <laughs> yeah. there's this air thing between it and then you go like that. <laughs> yeah, I was getting... I mean, it's also like, also it's not very economic, right? I mean, at this point you use a lot and a lot of gas. Yeah. And petrol for, for uh, when you get out of it, and it's really mainly for fun. And it's not even that much faster because, in the end, what determines whether, how fast you get from A to B are a lot of other factors, like what time you drive is probably the biggest, you know, uh, the, the traffic situation, and then things like construction sites, or those determine your, you know, the time you need, but not really the speed. I mean, if there was, you know, everything par. Uh, not traffic, obviously one is faster than the other, but you, you often get that like, you know, driven a lot in Germany and then you and you get overtaken by someone really fast and then you see them again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the next traffic jam. <laughs> yeah, like, <what? laughs> yeah, I was really weird then. 